Alright, hello and welcome to Let's Play yet another No Name Mame game. Today's No Name Mame game is by Semicom! That's right, we're playing a game by Semicom. So, let's jump right in. Today's game is Hyperman. Let's see if you can figure out what game this is based off of. But no, it gets better. It's not just a Pac-Man clone, it's the Pac-Man 3D Games clone. So you're playing around as a Pac-Man who's doing Pac-Man stuff, like eating things. I dare say they made the, um, gameplay, the, um, power pellets a bit more epic. I mean, the entire screen flashes. This isn't like Pac-Man suddenly has... Oh, whoa, Pac-Man can... That's awesome. Did... Laser helmet. Oh my god. They changed everything. Hey, ghost. Yeah, yeah. Fluidoscope. One up. This game is insane! Hey, hey, ghosts! Oh. Hey, hey, aww. Oh. I mean, you you get the ability to completely kill ghosts, but you kind of lose it. Still, that, that was pretty cool. So now we're playing more Pac-Man. So for those of you who may not, for some reason, remember, pa uh, Namco did actually make a 3D Pac-Man. I don't know how much it resembled this or not, but, uh... Oh, that's it? That's what the little shortcut does? That's disappointing. Oh, I bet you have to go down? I don't know. Although it is kind of weird how in Pac-Man, when you, like, get a power pellet, and then you hit a ghost, y you just, like, go right through them. Like, like the ghosts aren't even there. Interestingly enough, ghosts are not there. But it's kind of disappointing, because in the original Pac-Man, when you got a power pellet and you ran into a ghost, the game would kind of freeze, show you a score, and you had this tremendous feeling of accomplishment as you just smashed the invinc previously invincible ghosts. Because for those of you who have not, like, extensive... Well, now this is going to be awkward. For those of you not extensively played Pac-Man... Come on, come on. Oh, you have to jump over the ghosts. Interesting gameplay choice there, Semicom. Don't know if I agree with you, but like I was saying, yeah, I mean, for those of you who have not extensively played Pac-Man, those ghosts, they're invincible. And I know that may not mean so much to you right now, but it gets to you after. Oh, oh, we can just jump onto the left. I will say, Semicom, you've, you've made this game borderline impossible. Although... Oh, well that was disappointing. I, in my mind, I imagined it would lead to a whole new world. Perhaps with a lead. But yeah, so like I, I've been trying to say for the past three minutes, the ghosts are invincible, and they're a real pain in the ass. So when you finally get back at one of them, it's this tremendous feeling of joy, this tremendous feeling of release. Oh, the helmet's just a one-up. Not comparable to the laser helmet. So this has actually been more of a puzzle game than Pac-Man ever was. Pac-Man was like a sheer test of uh, reflexes and patience. This game is a bit about how are you able to manage the power-ups to get what you want. Although I guess not necessarily. Because it turns out the solution to that puzzle was just wait a while, but still. said, I kind of dig the music. It's It's got kind of like a weird uh, 90s SNES RPG town music thing going, though. Also, Pac-Man is faster than the ghosts, like clearly faster than the ghosts. These ghosts are just like big, dumb aberrations floating around randomly. Whereas in regular Pac-Man, you really got the sense, because I think, I believe they were as fast as you, you really got the sense that they were four bastards teaming up to kick your ass. And that like, all they had to do in life was that. That and only that. Make your life miserable. They had no other purpose in life or anything. They were just there to piss you off. Oh, that's the laser helmet! Promptly eaten. Yeah, no, there's, there's no real feeling of joy when you finally kick it back to those bastards. <sighs> Video games.
Bye bye, Pac-Man. I, I was a little on the fence there, but no. Still, that was an interesting experience, and I believe it it offers a new and weird take on the Pac-Man worlds, Pac-Man 3D, that uh, Pac-Man 3D style. So you can check it out. Maybe, maybe if you're a giant fan of it, you'll like it. And tune in next wee episode for the thrilling conclusion of a Pac-Man game that's actually kind of different. Teaser. And on that note, this cat's got a scat.